Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. So today we are not in Leicester. We are doing UK squad training stuff, but we're in Peterborough, Fabio Ferrari's gym, super nice gym. Um, been here twice before, so third time. First time they're doing the smaller sessions here instead of going all the way to Leicester, which is good because saves me about 45, 50 minutes. Love that, lazy guy. Um, so we're gonna get straight into it. Show you the gym. Peeps be there. I think it's Coach Mark and Coach John today. So yeah, should it all be sweet. Destiny. I want to see a level change. Okay, what do you think, guys? I want to see a level change. I want to see you banging that knee down. Okay, so I'm going to Alex here. Do best I can. Um, here's his gap here. Okay, if I'm coming down like this. Okay, you won't get it. You've got to go in with a straight back. If I'm coming down here, I'm going to be having a bent back. Okay, you've got to level change. So your penetration half step is there. Okay, just out of reach of this. Okay, then I level change. And then when I drop over, I'll try. When I drop over, I'm here. Okay, straight back. Use it to think of a deadlift. Yeah, you don't take a deadlift with a bent back. I'm in theory trying to pick them up. Your penetration. Power is coming off this leg. Then I can go. Take. Okay. Sunday, Sunday, guys, isn't it? Next one. Shadow boxing here. Okay. Be shadow boxing. I'm here. I'm just moving. I'm going to touch this one leg. Okay. Be sprawls. Right. It's nice space, spatial awareness. Yeah. When Max has takedown, don't get takedowns. Yeah. Side control to that one. Remember not to kill each other. Stand up. Let's go. <laughs> I think that all day yesterday, I was trying to put some of the back to bed into it. I think that's why I need it. Take it down. Hello, man. <laughs> I've got to be looking at him. He's working hard, but I make his music for a day. Set up. Hold it on. Hold it on. Try and make it a technical stand up. So with a bit of weight on yours, ain't.
Yeah. Yeah, I'll see. I'll again, you've got to have a look. Shit. Yeah, yeah next weekend for sure. Yeah. Saturday, though. Yeah. This. I was going to buy one, but I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. Take down. Establish foul. Idea of being in the bad position. Think about positioning here. Show the strikes. Take in hard guard. You grab a gain, not standing up. Make Stand up.
Right. Fingers, just said earlier, you'll get told off about these. Okay? You it's all good. Pardon? You have to point enough. You still get yeah, but that, that, that is that it's taboo to yeah. like if you come in, you go in there or there. Yeah. It's you got to be careful. Okay. You got to go from here to there. Yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't. I just you can keep your hands this sort of way, uh, here like yeah. here. Yeah. Just don't turn them. So this is fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can have them this way here. We just can't go. There's no fingers forward. Yeah. Yeah. It's the thing. And and it depends. It's, it's on the ref. It makes you throw in the bad positions. In the gym, I always start on my back. I never, because I'm a good wrestler and I can normally get it down, but I'll always start on my back. In Jiu Jitsu, MMA, I'm on my back. Even if the guy's much bigger, I'm on my back. Because if I can work my way out, regain guard or butterfly, I'm happy. Still don't want to be there, but it's better than being side control. Fuck, what's going on now? But like I said, you're looking for when you're on top, here's the tips I try and give and always there. Control, control, damage, submit. So I'm always looking to control your first and second. I know bang on it before, but. Control, control. Especially in these three minute rounds. Right now again, I'll pepper, pepper, and then throw one big shot. Just, even, yeah. if, even if it's the gloves, even to hammer fist. And like a pepper, pepper, and all of a sudden I'll just posture up, boom. Just throw a big shot, because if you're throwing them sort of shot, the rest is not gonna, he's not gonna bother you right. then. If you're like, full range, but if you're down here just doing this, the ref will go, yep, stand, boom. But if you just pepper, pepper, all of a sudden, posture up, one big and down, boom, then back, and just keep doing that. That's all I'll keep doing. Because the bottom guy's got to move. Yeah, and well, if you're advancing your technique, you know, if you've got a decent dip ground control, okay, go from side control, north, south, back to side control. Okay, mm -hmm. can't stop you because you were progressing. Yeah. Okay, and it's nice and easy to put a shot in every now and then. The thing that the referees will get you up is the as doing nothing. Yeah. So as John says, you know, a couple of those and then a big one will keep you there. Okay, because you are going to get taken down. I can guarantee whoever you get in there are going to try and take you down because that's the aim of the game, okay? It's a three minute round, yeah? If you can stay on top position for more than a minute and a half, probably won the round. That's it, it's real simple. Time warp here, but I'm back in Cambridge now. 
Sorry I didn't get to wrap up, but I was in a bit of a rush, so time is about 3 o'clock. Um, again, nice not going to Leicester. Had a really good training session, smaller one. Um, I don't think as many people were aware, but everyone there was like solid, so it was good work. Got about five MMA rounds in. Um, John's picked up a new like technical way of sparring, um, which I'm enjoying at the moment that we just did with everyone. So he picked this up from Syndicate in Vegas, where basically you do a five minute round. Um, I think we did five. And you go a minute, kind of with small MMA gloves, a minute stand up. And then you allow one person to take you down. And then you do a minute on the ground in a set, start in a set position, aka like side control or something um, and then you go back up with a technical stand up and then the other person after that minute gets a take down so there's two grappling rounds and it just goes live from there um, obviously with punches and everything normal like MMA conditions and you do one more minute back up on the feet so enjoyed that and then got a load of rolling in but I'm in a bit of a rush now I was considering stopping at Waitrose because they have this unbelievable sushi counter um, but I haven't eaten since this morning either, but I had a normal kind of breakfast, chucked in some peanut butter and stuff, some extra calories, had a monster too. But basically, I'm going into town now, I've decided I've done a big swap, so for any gamers out there, comment down below if you're PlayStation or Team Xbox, I've always been Team Xbox, but in the back, you can't really see that, bought a PlayStation 4 yesterday, um, so I... I can't really be bothered to run an Xbox and a PlayStation, so I'm just going to completely cut all ties, big signing, big press release with the PlayStation, so I'm going to go trade in my Xbox, I'll probably get pennies on the dollar for it, but these are the things that must be done, so to town. Alright guys, have now arrived in the car park, looks like I'm about to deal with some drugs or something, but I'm um, going to go get this done, sad times man, i got all my games and everything. Um, Feels like an end of an era, end of an era, a good, a good era, a dominant era of gaming. But yeah, let's go get this done. Right, guys, all done. Went surprisingly well. Got, got the wad, man. Don't, in the words of Chris Jones, don't be jealous, guys. You could do this too. Got the wad. Even saw the rare fitty. Just sipping on some. Oh, that's not it. Some boost, boost. It's like a. Uh, like a juice brand I guess but this was called the gym junkie about as bro as it gets and it's like strawberry banana milk Crete yogurt and some protein thing it's only like 15 grams of protein though just because time is now half four and I haven't actually eaten since I had breakfast at nine um, but the thought behind it is basically last night I had a cheat meal and Obviously I'm limiting the number because even though I'm far away from the tournament, it's two months, to get down to that 77 with no weight cut, you have to be strict. So I'm going to be cutting back on all that. Um, diet is going well. I feel like I've got in a lot better shape than I was um, a couple months back, like when I was in Spain and stuff. After the higher calorie meal last night, I was quite full. And uh, today I can kind of ease back. I go with how my body's feeling. I was going to run uh, later on, but after training like those 10 rounds, about 10 rounds, uh, my neck is kind of feeling it a little bit, and at the end of last week, my legs were cramping a bit and stuff too, because I've been running and doing double sessions and training a lot, so you've got to kind of work with your body, because um, I had that cheat meal yesterday in the build up to it. I kind of had like a lower calorie day um, and had like normal a lighter day before heavier training so yesterday I just did like some body weight exercises just for those guys who like to know about how to organize your training stuff or at least how I organize my training but gonna jet home now see you back at the crib right guys I'm back now I'm a disgusting human I haven't even showered yet gonna go grab one of those in a second but before I do I thought I'd just give a quick shout out to Mark coach Mark um who has sorted me out with some more hand wraps he knows I like the bad boy ones um and some of the ones I bought in the past were, well, they're kind of dodgy, so I make do, but, um, yeah, so I really appreciate Mark that, basically, long and short of it. It's probably his way of making up to me for always whipping my ass at wrestling whenever we wrestle, but uh, judo, judo is a problem. About to munch on some cucumber and hummus and dates, 
chilling with La Familia. But yeah, it wouldn't be an Alex Elsie vlog without any food. Madness. But I'm going to chow down on that and then I will catch up with you guys at dinner. Right peeps, feeling infinitely better now I've showered. Ironed some clothes as well, boring Sunday stuff. It's food time, dinner time, let's check it out. So you can always tell when I haven't cooked because it's fancier, nicer dishes. So we've got a beef stufado, veggies and mashed potato. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna double up on the meat. All right guys, dessert is two strawberries, but this is the creation set. I'm taking inspiration here from Ben Robson, part of Team UK. So I have one packet of oats. I mean, I don't think he does this exact thing, but it's inspired by Ben Robson. So I've got a Galaxy Ripple. Take the Ripple, break it up, diversify into the oats and let it melt. Mix it in get all the chocolate spread and then just a little whoop, a bit of honey. Right guys that dessert was an absolute winner, complete peach but it's time for me to embrace my destiny and chill out. I have nothing else planned for the next couple of hours so hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll catch you the next one. Peace. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,